the ticker where we give you your daily dose of what's happening now. So we know since this show has been airing, you have done everything you possibly could to become more tech savvy, and we've done everything we possibly could to teach you. But what happens when you deal with those not so tech savvy buyers or sellers? After you get done fishing for their proficiency within technology, We've got three tips for you to kind of help you kind of get over the hump of dealing with those non-tech savvy buyers. Step one is to keep it simple and slow. When you're talking to people who may not be so tech savvy and haven't learned all the great things you have, it's important for you to remember to keep things simple. If you explain to them more about what you're doing and the benefits that it's gonna have for them and you keep it focused on those benefits for them, don't get them caught up in how much you have to do and how you do it. If you keep it really simple and explain it to them slowly about how the tech savvy things you're going to do are going to help them with their process and it's going to offer so much more to them. Keeping things focused on your client's benefits is going to help the process in general for you and them. Next is going to be to take time to ask questions. This is a great opportunity for you to get in there, get into the trenches, and to teach them something, to become that valuable, trusted resource that they want you to be. So as you're going through the process, whether it's setting up your single property websites or different things like that, ask them questions. Find out if they have anything that you know they want answers to about maybe what does this button do or what does this button do or, or how did you do that? Answer those questions and become that trusted advisor for them. Number three is going to be put it in writing and share resources. Putting it in writing for non-tech savvy clients most of the time just means a hard copy. What you would put in an email or a text message or any type of other communication, print it out and hand it to them. Sometimes people just need something they can hold on to and read versus looking at it on a computer screen or their phone. So putting it in writing helps them and in writing by hard copy for those who aren't tech savvy. Next is going to be sharing those resources and we talked a lot about school finders the other day. Something like that is a great resource for you to share with your client and it's going to take your relationship with them to a whole new level. You're teaching them something outside of the process of selling the home or buying a home and you're creating just a completely different relationship with them and a different level of communication. This is going to help in the future because they're much more likely to use you in the future for their next home, but they're also much more likely to refer you to their friends and family if they feel like they have a really close relationship with you. So remember for those non-tech savvy buyers to keep it simple, slow, ask a ton of questions and then answer those questions. And then of course share the resources, keep things in writing. If this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe for free over on the side. If you have any questions about those non-tech savvy buyers or sellers, be sure to leave them in the comment section down below. You can always check us out on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and even hang out with us on Google+. Bye guys. Well, the top two reasons to be an adult, you oh. get to worry more, and margaritas. What? <laughs> South Texas right there, baby. They go together. They do go together. More worrying and more margaritas. Hey. You ready? I am. All right. Okay. Woo!